9 Actors Who Never Got To See Their Iconic Final Films 1. Bruce Lee Bruce Lee missed his most iconic movie because of his untimely demise in 1973. Enter the Dragon was premiered a month after Lee's demise and became the highest grossing movie of that year. Brandon Lee Brandon Lee was just eight years old when he lost his father, Bruce Lee. He followed in on his footsteps of becoming an actor. In 1994, Brandon was filming The Crow when he was accidentally shot on set. He dies at the age of 28 and never got to see his movie become a success. 3. Heath Ledger In January 2008, Heath Ledger tragically died due to a drug overdose at the age of 28. He was found in his apartment in New York just six months before his movie The Dark Knight premiered. He never got to see his performance of the Joker that bagged him an Oscar. Phil Hartman An Emmy Award winner Hartman was shot dead by his wife in 1998 mere moments before she committed suicide. His final film Small Soldiers was released two months after the tragic incident depriving him of a glimpse of his final work. Clark Gable and Marilyn Monroe Gable and Monroe shared the screen in The Misfits. It became both of their last film since they both died months apart from each other. Gable died from a double heart attack at the age of 59 and Monroe from an overdose just 18 months later. Adrian Shelley Shelley was found in her house in November 2006. Her film The Waitress was all set to premiere in 2007 but Shelley never got to see it. Her was initially ruled a but was later announced a murder when a 19-year-old Diego Pilco was found guilty. Chadwick Boseman Boseman died unexpectedly in 2020 due to colon cancer. He worked until the end and his fans had no idea about his condition. His last film was Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, which was released a few months later his James Dean James Dean was only 24 years old when he died tragically in a car accident in 1955. His final film Giant was released in 1956 and it earned him an Oscar. 9. Robin Williams Williams was suffering from Lewy body dementia, which led to him committing in 2014. His final movie, Night at the Museum, was released only seven months after his demise.